family of four shopping at the commissary can save more than $4,500 on groceries in a single year, with a single service member saving more than $1,500. This valuable resource has many flocking to the commissary not only for its savings, but for its products. And the veterinarian food inspectors assigned to the commissary make sure these products are held to the highest possible standards. As a vet food inspector, we provide food safety. We want to make sure that the products here are wholesome for consumption. We offer quality assurance as well as food defense, which would be protection against intentional and unintentional contamination of food product. And that means that food hasn't been accidentally damaged or intentionally tainted. These 68 Romeos start their day at 3 a.m. when food is delivered and not only inspect the food, but transportation as well. Afterward, food is critiqued with only the highest standards accepted. Um, there are several standards that we follow. Uh, for example, for produce, we, all the products that we're supposed to get must be U.S. number one and above, and that's federally regulated. What we do is we verify the product to make sure it's meeting the grade requirements. And then for other uh, commodity or other products, we follow our SOP or whatever's on the con contract. We're going to make sure that the box is good. Nothing's been broken on the box. It's not covered in dirt. Everything appears to be good. Going to open the case up. We're going to start looking at the product, making sure that everything's good on it. It doesn't have any blemishes, scars, anything like that. We're going to look around throughout the case, make sure everything looks good, make sure there's nothing moldy, nothing rotten, that our customers are getting the best product possible and the government's getting what it's paid for. Nothing looks spoiled. Essentially what you're looking for is something that um, you would be willing to eat or to serve to your family and make sure it's good product, make sure that the government is getting what it's paid for. And if the quality is subpar, recommendations are made to refuse the product. They usually reject the product and they follow our recommendation because they do have confidence in what we do and from all the training that we go through. But on this day, all the product looks good and will be placed on the floor, ensuring that items are placed in a first-in, first-out system to avoid spoiling and wasting of government money. Walking through the commissary several times daily, these food inspectors check everything from food placement to prep to holding and cleanup. The pre-op inspections are done in the morning before the store opens and before any, any processing is done. And the post-op is done at the end of the night after the store is closed and everything has been sanitized. Trained in microbiology, deterioration and diseases, these inspectors make sure all prep areas are cleaned and maintained to standard by swabbing for living organisms several times monthly. Depending on the surface, whether it be the plastic of the cutting board or the stainless steel of the knife, we'll get an acceptable reading. I think it's very important that we execute up to standards because we want to meet the health and the welfare of our service members, their families, our retirees, and also that we want to make sure that the government gets what it's paid for. Safety remains the top priority for these unsung heroes that make sure you can feed your family with confidence while saving those precious pennies. Melissa Bell, Fort Benning TV.